This feels real familiar. Like we've been down this road before. Oh. Relax. Stay a while. <laughs> Come on. You've been so good up to this point. You do realize what's at stake here, don't you? Stop and fuck her, aren't you? <laughs> okay. <sighs> you just keep asking for it, don't you? You want it? You want the stick? <laughs> Here's the fucking stick. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm gonna spend all night wiping those hopes and dreams off my boots. <laughs> Uh, you know, before you showed up, everything was fucking good. And you came in with your fancy train and your fancy people trying to make this place into something that is and when we tried to be reasonable, you thought it'd be a good idea to stir up the pot. Over and over and over. Because you thought there was a hope for your future? There's no hope for you. No future. For any of them. Oh, shit. I need you to listen to me. Why? You're not coming with us. I don't have a choice. Your father... Daddy says if you're not with us, you're against us. It's not that simple. Yes, it is. Gotta go, Mom. Dad's here. Michelle, you two need to take care of each other, because your dad, he won't. He has a lot of big plans, but everything he does ends in violence. Dad solves problems. He creates them. He leaves a trail of bodies behind him. He doesn't care who gets hurt. Don't end up like him. Promise me you won't be like him. All right? I right, fucking hawked out like that? Everything was normal until they went up north. Maybe it's time we asked them freak some questions.
Rush, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I got on that train. I'm sorry I brought you to Hope County. We'll always remember you. You took the risk for us, and it cost you your life. This is all my fault. Rush? I promise we'll make you proud. He was a good man. Selfless. And you, yeah, you did everything you could. Twins are always a step ahead. We need another angle. I'm gonna go check on Carmina. When you want to hear what I have in mind, come talk to me. Rush are a godsend. We're all shaken up by the loss of Rush, but we can't let up. As much as I hated the idea of talking to Joseph, I have to admit that having new Eden attack the Highwaymen has given us a chance to blindside them. I was talking to the scouts. It seems that out by the old orchards, there's a place the Highwaymen bet on fights. The promoter out there claims to be close to the twins. Who knows if it's true, but it's worth checking out. You got a chip on your shoulder the size of Texas, I can tell. Now, I think we got some twins in common, right? They teamed up with me a while back, you know. I'm like the right-hand man, pretty much. But we got this thing where we owe each other every now and then. You know, it's friendly. It's like a give-and-take type deal. Now, the thing is, I owe him this time around. Uh-oh. And I'm in a little, uh, financial, uh, trouble. Now, all I need is a sure thing, and boom, hey, no problem. Now, here's a skinny. There's some fighters in this arena. And I need somebody who can give them a run for their money. But first, I need to know you could throw a punch, really haymake the shit out of somebody, you know? So take a swing at this machine here to measure what you got. Now, I broke it when I gave it a shot. Let's see if you got twins, right? You want to get close enough to count the nose hairs? Well, I got a way to do that. Now, normally, I just walk you up and introduce you to the twins straight off. But I'm on the outs with them right now. Told them they were fucking up and they got all huffy. It's a whole thing. That's not important. What's important is that now, the twins are all over this guy Frank. Like he's their best friend or something. They even made him the fucking warden of the prison. You believe that? Well, they know me and him don't get along. He's such a dick. But what it is is, Lou has a thing for me. And she wants to make me jealous, okay? Now why else would they even talk to that asshole? So the number one part of the plan is, you gotta kill Frank. And here's how we do it. He's the prison warden, right? So I take you to the prison as a prisoner. That gets you close to Frank, and you just fucking take him out. Take that motherfucker out. And I'll explain the rest of the plan on the way. Trust me, it's sure fire. Just stash your gear here. The prisoners don't got weapons. Then jump in the truck, and I'll drive you in. Fuck. <laughs> Hey, Mickey, you okay? No! Uh, you? No. Hey, you ain't dying, are you? I guess I broke my promise. What? To Mom. I told her we wouldn't end up like Dad. We had a lot of fun, though, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! Hey! Do not die first! You do not get to die first! I'm the oldest! I go first! God damn it! 
Lou! Lou! I was supposed to take care of you. I was supposed to take care of you and I didn't and I'm so fucking sorry I fucked this up, man. You know, Rabbit, you remind me of our mom. She had hope. She had dreams. She, she just wanted to fucking make things better, and I should have listened to her. But things just got carried away. Ethan, what have you done? I did what I had to do. I freed myself. I freed us all from you, from your rules. Ethan, don't. I will have what you denied me. You gave it to an outsider, but you wouldn't give it to me. I am your flesh and blood. That was God's will. You don't know God's will! I was trying to protect you, son! It takes too sweet. <laughs> Ethan? No. Father? Father? I'm sorry. I know. I'm so scared. I know, son. Can you forgive me? His only fault was that he was mine. Why can't I have one? You know the answer. But I want to be strong, like you, Father. This gift can be dangerous. And I don't want you getting hurt, Ethan. Well, 
What about when I grow up? Not even then. But why? I want one. This is not God's plan. Do you understand me, son? You're an old man. And when you die, I will take one. I thought I understood God's plan. I thought he wanted me to build a new Eden. But I am not his shepherd. You are. soul has become a cancer. I am a monster. And I have only spread suffering and death in the name of God. My family. only the justice of God's hand. End this vicious cycle. Give me God's justice. Release me. Be proud of us. Look at what we've built together. How far we've come. There's always going to be trouble out there, but we'll manage, right? There were so many times that I thought we were going to fail. That all of this would be for nothing. But we just didn't give up. Because we had hope. Here's to hope.